Welcome to Talk About Topeka. I'm Chris Schultz. Tonight, I'll show you my recent trip to the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. We'll see every valuable resource they have to offer. And Diana Friend takes us on a fun tour of their infernal machines behind the scenes. Then, after the break, I'll sit down with library CEO Gina Millsap. This episode was sponsored by the WIBW channels and The Break Room, downtown's best spot for a hot lunch each and every business day. And it all starts right now. I'm Chris Schultz with TalkAboutTopeka.com and this is your Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. We're standing in the entryway of one of the greatest resources for learning and information in all of Shawnee County. It's free and open seven days a week. Let's go check out everything cool they have to offer. Obviously, you can't have a library without books, and the Topeka and Shawnee County Library doesn't disappoint. Where they go above and beyond is with their incredibly friendly and knowledgeable staff. They're always ready and eager to help you dive into the challenge of finding what you're interested in. But it certainly doesn't stop there. Aside from great people and an amazing selection of books and media available to check out, our library has some great additional amenities that you may not be aware of. The Alice C. Sabatini Art Gallery is located a short distance from the library entrance, just to the right of the rotunda. Exhibits, programs, and events are free, casual, and open to the public. The hours are the same as the library, except when closed for change of exhibition. The Sabatini Gallery is one of the many participating venues in Topeka's First Friday Art Walk. Just a quick walk up the stairs brings you to a treasure chest of Topeka history. The Topeka Room contains books and other materials written, illustrated, produced, or published by Topekans or about Topeka and Shawnee County history. Some of their most popular items are yearbooks from Topeka High Schools and Washburn University and Topeka City directories from 1870 to the present. The Topeka Room is also home to an extensive vertical file collection which covers topics like Topeka and Shawnee County people, schools, businesses, churches, and neighborhoods. Many of the furnishings in the Topeka Room, including the 1871 Chickering Square Grand Piano, the Victorian settees, the 1908 Grandfather Clock, and the large stained glass window were donated by local residents. Do you need someplace quiet for your study group or a board meeting? The library has you covered with a selection of state-of-the-art private meeting facilities available. Back downstairs, when you check out the Chandler Boutique, you will find a great selection of gently used books, magazines, videos, CDs, and carefully selected gift items for you to choose from. The Chandler Boutique obtains its inventory through generous donations by library patrons and the general public. An annual Friends Book Sale is also held each fall at the Kansas Expo Center, offering over 80,000 items for purchase. If you wish to donate books or other library items, they may be left in the big white deposit bin located in the southwest side of the library in the driveway to the dock. Donations may also be left at the information desk at the library. The Booktique is operated by staff and volunteers of the Friends of the Library organization. Proceeds from sales go towards supporting library programs, services, and activities. Information is never far away from your fingertips at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Free Wi-Fi is available to all guests who bring their own electronic devices. You may also choose to use one of the library's guest terminals for up to two hours per day. With so much to see and do at our library, you might need a little something to give you some energy. The Millennium Cafe has you covered. They offer many delightful treats, salads, sandwiches, and signature drinks to make your library experience as enjoyable as possible. The cafe is open from 8.15 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday and on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you aren't able to make it to the library, don't fear because the bookmobile is here, or rather right where you need it to be. Bookmobiles carry a variety of books, movies, and music for all ages with an emphasis on popular fiction and nonfiction. There are 17 bookmobile stops around the city and county, so there's one close to you. At the bookmobile, you can check out books, movies, music, audiobooks, and magazines. You can get a library card, pick up hold and return items just like at the library, and of course, the staff can answer questions and help with a variety of needs. Smile! <laughs> But our journey at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library doesn't end there. 
In fact, you can begin your own journey right now from your home by exploring their website and additional services at tscpl.org. While you're there, check out all the spectacular events they have planned for the community, from free movie screenings to gallery openings and other community events. Folks, I'm here with my friend, Diana Friend. She's with the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine, Chris. We're happy to have you here today. We're so glad to be here, and you're gonna show us some of the new things that have been happening here at the library, and you're gonna take us on a behind the scenes tour. Uh, we're really excited. Let's get going, all right? Let's start out with the all children's right. library. Okay, let's go this way. All right, cool. This is uh, the new installation that just happened this month in October um, where we have built what we call learnscapes where we can have interactive things that children will find and experience from the time that they begin are beginning readers until they become readers that are learning. It's got a pretty awesome opening here yes, so does. let's go in and check it out yes we have one of the biggest copies of charlotte's web you'll ever yeah, see <laughs> sure do when you come in uh, of course the first thing that you notice are the beautiful murals and they start in uh, our south corner with the beginning reader which is nursery rhymes fantasy and interactive Kids like to play on things. Sure. So the car and the boat, the, the, the kids aren't very good on, on reading on the shelf, so we put our board books in there where they can pick oh, out cool. the ones they like. Very cool. They jump right in. Um, we have some wonderful things that happen here. We have a little reading bench where uh, a child and their caregiver can sit down, enjoy a book, they can play. What it does is it connects reading with the actual written word and activities that we're doing here. The school bus <laughs> is an interactive where it actually has things about transportation on here and, and school related wow. uh, things. Um, and like I said, these were just installed this month, but it's pretty awesome. We also have an actual simulated school with learning programs on all of these computers there. This is also a gathering place for families. So we have parenting tips on this wall. We have now worn, grown into uh, learning about your environment. So a lot of the kids will never go to a beach, but we're giving them a beach experience right here at the library. <laughs> and we have a big octopus surrounding our saltwater aquarium. It's a very warm, it's bright, it's inviting, and it just really magical little places for the kids to be able to, to dive and, into reading. And the wonderful thing is it's a place where families can come and hang out. In the Lingo Story Room over here you'll see right now that they are having an after school program. So tell us a little bit about the after school programs. Well when you come in after school number one there's we have a homework center so from four until eight o'clock every evening we have coaches available that can help you with your homework. We work in cooperation with most of the schools in this area and and uh, that has been going on for almost a decade now, and it's really wonderful to watch these kids grow up and succeed in school and actually come back and tell the coaches how they're doing even after they get out of school. You have a huge dinosaur right here. Yes, and since we couldn't get all of the T-Rex in here, we decided that we would get the most important part, his bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we have a birdhouse that was built by our facility house, our facility staff. Gives a little guide on what you might see feeding at our bird feeder. We have our own little solar system here created by Doug Schiefer with Albo Glass. So those are all glass spheres that Fiber he... Fiber optics in the ceiling and everything? Yes, wow. our staff figured out how to do that. That's not shelves and books anymore, it's, it's an experience. Right, and that's always been a proven uh, learning uh, tool, mm -hmm. uh, is being able to visualize depending on what kind of learner you are, the immersion helps. Mm -hmm. So this is the edge, the teen room. Tell us about this. Well, the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library is really popular with the teenage crowd. The edge is our, what I call our interactive library for the kids, and it's kind of today's checkers for them. When people used to go to the library and pay, play board games, which they can still do, this is a chance for the kids to come in there. They've sat in school all day. They've had to be quiet and stuff. They can come in here and the kids can be kids, which can be a little noisy. 12 to 18 year olds, this is their place to hang. What a cool area. 
So we tell them they can hang out on the edge. Very cool. All right, so we're surrounded by a bunch of computers. Tell us what's happened in here. Well, one of the things that people, when we built this new library, uh, technology was just becoming mainstream back in the late 90s and uh, 1990s and all of that. And before we built the new library, we only had about six internet computers. Now we have <laughs> over 170. Wow. And we have 18 right in this room. So people can come in and they can learn everything from taming your mouse to Excel spreadsheets. We offer things that will help you learn job skills for job placement. We help uh, uh, those that want to connect with their grandchildren on Facebook, getting them their own <laughs> Facebook account. Uh, there's also using the internet to look up those things that everybody seems to uh, want to because the print's gotten pretty small in the phone book sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we have two uh, trainers that take care of the classes in here, and we have served, as of last year, over 45,000 customers wow. coming in here for training. Uh, we also have some of the uh, private businesses in town that actually ran out this room to do their employee training here. It makes sense. It's a state-of-the-art so, room. Yeah. It is. And we have very good trainers. So, yeah. and, and there's no judgment. You can come back as many times as you want. Excellent. It's just another wonderful service here at the library. It is. Now we're kind of moving into the adult section of the library. These are the stacks, as you would <laughs> have. And um, we have tried to make using the library uh, as user-friendly as possible. So if you know Dewey, that's okay. But if you don't, we're going to make it really obvious where everything is. So uh, we put uh, less and less inf emphasis on that. And in fact, you'll find when we go to the West Wing <laughs> that we will have things arranged, similar things all together, just like maybe houses in a neighborhood. So yeah. we call them neighborhoods. Cool. Very cool. Uh, we also try to do a lot of shelf out so we can maybe tease you to pick up something up as you walk down uh, and improve your browsing of saying, hmm. I've never really heard of this. And I'm going to the birdhouse. <laughs> The other thing we encourage you to do, if you see one of these shelves empty, grab something off the shelf that looks interesting and put it out there. Because that's one of the number one questions our librarians get. I'd like something good to read. What do you recommend? Yeah. And uh, when you see these out there, it's either because the librarians pulled it and thought it was interesting. Well, I might stop right here. This is one of our neighborhoods we were talking about. This yeah. is where we... we we uh, shelve similar items. This is travel. We try to break it down where you might travel to. This starts the United States. This is outside the continental United States. This is what I think is one of the coolest things that we have. This is what we call a travel bag. And this one happens to be on Boston. Mm. So if you're planning a trip to Boston, you can check out this bag. And it has just about everything that you would ever need to, for planning a trip to Boston in it. Oh, cool. So, um, you don't even have to sort through that. And we also include the latest um, printouts on there, maps, and destination places. What so, a great idea. Oh, it is an excellent idea. I've used it several times. Um, when I've traveled my vacation. And if you send us the pictures, we'll post it on our Flickr site. How cool. We also, if you happen to do some work with nonprofits, we can help you uh, with funding. Um, we have resources for that. We are actually the only designated uh, f uh, nonprofit funding center in the state of Kansas. So, kind of proud of this. We're walking through our reference room right now. Um, and as you can see, references change from books on the shelf to people coming in and using their laptops here. Absolutely. Yeah. But they're coming in here because we have great Wi-Fi. Excellent. And uh, it's a place where you can gather together. Very we good. also are preparing people for how they can read now or in the future. Uh, and a lot of people come in, they're going, what device do I need in an e-reader? So we have displays for that. One of our most popular neighborhoods is our health information neighborhood because you can learn about your gallbladder 
but you can also check out an exercise uh, <laughs> kit. So if you, wanted, chi if you wanted to yeah. try out some Tai Chi <laughs> or uh, Pilates yoga, or you can find the latest diet book. <laughs> we also have a blood pressure machine and a digital scales. Wow, it's an interactive library experience. It here. is. And once again, it's responding to the community need. We work with both of the hospitals and several uh, of the physician's office to make sure that we have the correct information. You'll also see we have lawn and garden. Yeah. And we have a home for home improvement, cooking, collectibles, uh, just about those top 10 lists that you find of pe things people like to do, we have prepared for that. You'll even find here we can help you get married. We have a <laughs> wedding neighborhood, and unfor or unfortunately, we have a divorce neighborhood in the pl in the works. Depends on your situation, yes. I guess, right? Well, we want to. We like we said, we have the information you need to make your life awesome. So yeah, this is a lot of filing. I mean, I it, how do, how does this happen? I want to I want to see this process. Okay. Well, uh, we have one of the things that the library has to offer besides all of the books that is customer service. Mm -hmm. So these shelves don't get filled by themselves. Yeah, yeah. And since we have 450,000 items here, we have a somewhat sophisticated system of getting them back on the shelf. I've always wondered about that. I mean, you, you check the books out. Oh, How do they get? No, here we go. We'll go to the underground and find out how it really We're going works. into the staff only area. Shh, don't tell anybody. So here we are underneath what most people think are the Under, library. You can tell because there's pipes and stuff down and there. And you right? can see just miles and miles of cord for the, uh, the digital library yeah. that runs through all this. But we are entering into what we call our circulation workroom. And this is how it works. That little chute upstairs, Yeah. this is where it goes after you drop your book into the book return. Is that the and same with the, the parking lot? That's one the one that's coming in from the parking lot how right cool. there. How cool. And so the book comes down, it's scanning the barcode, and then it's adjusting the book. What it's doing is telling people where it belongs. As you'll see, each one of the carts has bookmobile, adult DVDs, children's DVDs. Makes it very easy to shelve on the carts, ready to come back upstairs. It's, it's automated completely. I never would have known this existed down here. Well, you know, everything that we do, there are adjustments that go with this. And uh, But we were one of the first libraries when the new library opened in 2002 to have this system. And now it's kind of a standard. But you can see everything from a DVD to the books. They're moving down there and they're dropping into the appropriate bin. It allowed the circulation staff to actually spend more time doing customer service and working at answering questions that way instead of and books are heavy yeah. so so it is it's a marvelous system you'll see this whole area would be filled with carts but when we start shelving it empties out pretty fast we're really lucky that we can usually get something back on the shelf within 24 hours wow that's another thing you know from from a lay person out there thinking how fast you have to get it when people are waiting for something Definitely. as well. Definitely. Yeah. Because there are people that they are anxious to see that next installment on that book or, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the X-Files are coming out uh, <laughs> with, a, I think, a movie or something. So you got to check out, you got to catch up with the shows. So. Mm -hmm. Our library's got so many wonderful things. I, I thank you so much for taking us on this tour and, and showing us all about the place. It is. I just recommend, you know, this isn't just for you, for you. Any person can come in and say, hey, I'd like to see how they check in books. We And they'll call me or someone else, and we'll come down, and we'll sh be happy to show you around. It's your library. It's pretty cool stuff, folks. You need to come down here. Uh, yeah, of course, you know where the library is on 10th Street, but mm -hmm. check out tscpl.org. Uh, that's, we're going to say it many times during yes. the show here, to make sure folks get those library cards, right? Right. Yeah. And getting a library card is easy. 
All you have to do is fill out a form. Takes about three minutes. Everybody can uh, handle three minutes uh, to have this type of service. So, Diana, thank you so much for mm -hmm. having or having us over here and letting us uh, see behind the scenes. Okay. Well, I am here in the office of Gina Millsap, the CEO of the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Gina, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. It's my pleasure. It's always fun to talk about the library. You know, we've been uh, exploring the library in our episode here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a blast. We're having a great time. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about finding out, you know, what, is, what does this library do for our community? Well, actually, I really appreciate that question. Um, libraries traditionally have contributed to education and literacy in the community. I think that this library has a tradition going back to the mid-1800s, believe it or not, of really being a cultural center for the community as well. So we serve people cradle to grave. Mm -hmm. um, we have, um, you know, there's about 187,000 people that live in Topeka and Shawnee County. 95,000 of them have library cards. Wow. Now, that's pretty awesome, yeah, it is. but we don't think it's good enough because here's what we know. Everybody should be a library user because using the library can make your life better in big and small ways. It might be finding the perfect story or the perfect book for yourself. It might be for students doing their research, doing better in school, getting their homework done. Could be for that adult in the community that's looking for everything from, you know, I'm thinking about putting a deck on my house to I'm going through a rough time in my life and I need some advice on X or I've just gotten a diagnosis uh, from my doctor and I need to have better information so I can ask informed questions. Mm -hmm. Or I've heard about this Affordable Care Act, but I don't know much about it and I don't have insurance, is it for me? Um, libraries in their communities are here to provide objective information. We don't have a political opinion and we don't take sides, but we do have an obligation to the community to provide the best information so you can make the best life decisions. Absolutely. So that's what we do. Yeah, and, and how is this, how is this, you know, the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library, mm -hmm. how is this funded? Well, we are, we're a consolidated library district. Okay. And this district was created in the early 1990s, um, which makes it um, basically a unit of government an autonomous unit of government with its own board of trustees. Mm -hmm. The primary means of funding is through property taxes, as the city and county are both funded by and our schools are funded by. Um, but in addition to that public funding, which is very strong and for which we're very grateful for, the library also has um, other resources that we use to create these great services and collections and programs that you see here, or our bookmobiles, for instance. Well, it's just not not just books anymore. Right? No, it, it's certainly not. Yeah. No, we do have a friends and foundation, both of whom raise funds for us. And you might have seen recently that we're getting a brand new bookmobile, wow. uh, one of three that we'll be buying and putting on the road in the next three years. Um, and those are being funded through the, the, the great work of our foundation, our friends of the library. Um, and one of our donors, Capital Federal Foundation, uh, just gave a very generous gift to the library for what we're calling right now Bookmobile Number One. So one of the big challenges for a library with no branches, and we're very unique in that respect, we're one of the few libraries in the country that serves basically a population that we do over 550 square miles and we go from urban to rural. That's a lot of people spread out over a pretty good piece of ground. Yeah, it is. So our goal is to ensure that the person who lives 20 miles away has the same level of service that the people who live two blocks away. So we do that in a variety of ways. We do it with our bookmobiles. Um, we are now working with uh, Shawnee County Parks and Rec. We have computer labs in six of the community centers, and hopefully soon that will be eight of the community centers, where people can go to apply for jobs, um, work on homework and research, um, and generally be better connected in their community, improve their computer skills. Yeah. Um, we also have a program called Library at Work, and we're working with several corporate partners where people in the workplace actually use our catalog and request library books and other materials, and we deliver them to the workplace. So oh, cool. we're, one of our partners is Stormont Vale, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And so we're finding that those are very efficient ways of ensuring that people have access to their library and reaching more people. 
Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I grew up in Topeka, and mm -hmm. you know, the, I, we knew what the library was, obviously. We came here many times, but the tremendous growth that has happened with the library, I, I think it's spectacular, especially the way That's that the, 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 it's changed so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get so many more things, and, and it really has branched out a lot in those the technology behind it is another spectacular yes. thing because you can make those bookmobiles work for people who maybe can't make it down here to this location. So you're doing great. Well, we well, thank you. Yeah. Um, it always kind of amuses me. I've been a librarian a long time. Um, yeah, my, I got my degree in the previous century. You know, so Lincoln was president <laughs> then, and so a few things have changed. Um, we have plenty of books that are at that that's here right. at the library. You can read. We do. <laughs> um, but libraries, public libraries generally, this library too has never been busier. And what that tells us is, is that, first of all, people are hungry for what libraries provide. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's books, it's programs, it's good, solid, authentic information. Um, we say that librarians are still the best search engines. You know, Google will give you a million hits, we'll give you the right ones. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing, too. Because we're trained as information professionals. Yeah. Um, but people also look to libraries to really become more self-sufficient, um, to learn more. Um, not everybody who wants to continue to increase their job skills, uh, become more marketable, uh, just improve their lot in life, can afford a formal education or an, you know, a, a college education. Um, Andrew Carnegie, who helped establish public libraries in this country, called public libraries the people's university. And so that's another approach that we take in terms of ensuring that everybody who lives in the community has access to the information and the educational opportunities, you know, for themselves that they that they would like. Excellent. So you guys have quite a presence online as well. And I we do. wanted to kind of look at your screen here. We've got a, a shot here. Here's your Great. Uh, Thank fun you. toys to play with. <laughs> but uh, um, show us what you got. As you as you look at this, the thing is, anything now that we have in terms of content that you can read or view or listen to, we also have online as digital content. So what we're looking at right now is uh, a service called Zenio. Mm -hmm. um, and we subscribe to that just as we do to, uh, we have magazine subscriptions that you can read here at the library in print, but now you can get them online with your tablet or on your computer or on your mobile device. So that's just one thing. We also uh, have a service called Overdrive, uh, and that's an ebook service. So um, all you need for all of these is your library card. Wow. Uh, and if you live in Topeka and Shawnee County, just a reminder to everybody that, that you pay for this with your tax dollars, so your library card, you walk in the door, you give us proof of address, and it is yours. Wow. Um, but when you think about this, I don't know if you're, a, if you're an e-book reader. Yeah. Um, when I looked at my, I, I buy e-books and I also download them from Overdrive, which is the service that we subscribe to. And my husband and I had a little conversation about my bill <laughs> for e-books, and so, you know, it adds up very quickly, so mm -hmm. if you start calculating you know what it costs if you and your family are reading ebooks but we also have music online now from a service called Freegal. another wow. service called Hoopla has theatrical films um, and e-audio books that you can listen to when you're on the go mm -hmm. you're on the treadmill you're in your car you know those kinds of things all of those are down downloadable content now uh, so that um, basically for those folks for whom uh, it's much more convenient to, to use their mobile devices um, or it's simply their schedule, it doesn't work for them to come into the library. Our website's over, open 24-7. Wow. Yeah. And the website is tscpl.org. So be right. sure to check tscpl.org out. Get your library card and check out all this stuff. It's the best deal in town. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. It really is. Well, I thank you for all you guys do for the community. And, and you have a great staff. You really do the librarians do. around here. Uh, you know, if you've ever had a question, they've had an answer. And it really is spectacular. And it's the right answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. A lot of people have answers, That's right? right. That's right. That's what librarians do. They give you the right answer. That's right. So as we sit there and tell our viewers, you all need to go get a library card if you don't have one. And uh, we hope that you'll get out and check out the many amenities and all the services that the library has to offer. Gina, thank you so much for joining us. I really it was my appreciate pleasure. That. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.